Okay, let's find the GCF of some monomial expressions. So let's start here with 8ABC and 9AC. Those are both monomials, they're connected by multiplication. The long way is to make a list, which is fine at first if you're confused. So we want to list the factors of 8ABC, which I'm asking you is what multiplies to 8ABC. So we'd start with our coefficient, what multiplies to 8? Well, that could be 1 and 8, and that could also be 2 and 4. So there are your, multi your numbers that multiply for 8, your factors of 8. Now, A, what's the only thing in algebra that can multiply to A? It would be 1 times A. Well, you already have the 1 listed, so all we need to do is list the A. B, what's the only thing in algebra that can multiply to B? 1 times B. You have the 1 listed, so we need the B. What can multiply to C? 1 times C. We have the 1 listed, so there's the C. So those are your factors of 8ABC. Now we're going to list our factors of 9AC. So again, we'll start with the coefficient. What multiplies to 9? Well, we know that's 1 and 9, and we also know it's 3 times 3. We don't have to write the factor 3 twice, we just need to write it once. Now we'll do our variables. Again, in algebra, what can multiply to a? 1 times a. We have the 1, so we need the a. What can multiply to c? 1 times c. We have the 1, so we need a c. So these are your factors of 9ac. Now, GCF means give me the greatest common factors. What's the greatest amount they have in common? Well, number-wise, the biggest number they have in common is 1. Letter-wise, they each have a letter A, and they have each a letter C. So we would say the greatest common factor is 1AC. But we already know from our previous modules, is it necessary to write this 1? Well, this 1 is connected by multiplication, and 1 times A times C is just going to be AC. Now, do you need to actually write all these factors out? No, our goal is to be able to look at these monomials and figure this out. Say to ourselves, 8 and 9, the only thing we can divide them both by is the number 1. They both have the letter A, they both have the letter C in common, so we, AC is our GCF. All right, let's try one more. I have the algebra expressions, 16x cubed y squared, 2xy to the fifth. So again, if we're listing out our factors, let's start with 16x cubed y squared. What multiplies to 16? Well, that's 1 and 16. It's an even number, so it's 2 and 8. Not a 3, but it is 4 times 4. Then we'll take our variable x cubed. Well, we learned x cubed is x times x times x. y squared is y times y. So that's listing out the factors, how you would rewrite this monomial as multiplication. All right, let's do our next term, 2xy to the fifth. So 2 is our only even number that's prime. The only factors that multiply to 2 are 1 and 2. x is just good old x. The only thing that can multiply to x is 1 times x. But we know y to the fifth means y times y times y times y times y. So now if we look for our greatest common factor, well, the number is obvious. It's the number 2. But then if we look, what's the greatest amount of variables they have in common? They both have 1x in common, and they both have 2y's in common. So we would say the GCF would be the number 2, the letter x, and then the 2y's, y times y. But we know a better way of writing y times y that's written as y squared. So we would say the GCF is 2xy squared. Now, yes, you can do that in your brain without showing any work if you know your facts. So if you do your coefficients first, what's the largest number you can divide both of these by? 2. This, has an, this is x cubed. This is x to the first. Remember, it has an invisible exponent of the 1. When we do the GCF of variables, we take the smaller amount. 
3 and 1. Who's smaller? X. Y squared, Y to the fifth. When we do a GCF of variables, we take the smaller amount. Who's the smaller amount? Y squared. Why is that? Because this smaller amount is what they have in common. And now we're going to put this all together and get to factoring a polynomial expression. See you in the next video.